Now we're going to do a mix here of apple red and, and brandy wine. We're going to use a couple parts of apple red to one part of brandy wine. And why are we doing this? Well, the apple red has a yellow tone, the brandy wine has a blue tone, and this will make a cherry color. Beautiful combination. Take your time. You don't notice I'm not in a big hurry. I've got my gun set up so that I'm in control. Where is my concentration? I'm watching that primer sealer hit. I'm paying close attention to it. It's critical. You know, you can't be watching the ceiling. You want to watch that paint go on. I want to try and be as robotic as I can. I mean, I'm a human being and we all make mistakes, but I'm trying to do it as good as I know how. And if you think like a robot, you'll do this kind of work. You'll have great fun doing it. Nice short steps so you're not bouncing up and down. Watch that hose. I've always got it in control. I don't want it slapping the side of the car. Sealer is covered and looking even. All right, here we come with the base, the pale gold. 2-1-1 ratio. Gun set up. Wet it out. This is our last base coat. Wet it out. I'm going to put three coats on just like we did the other two bases. Nice and wet. And it's amazing the glitter of this material. Well, you can't appreciate it in a fluorescent light atmosphere. But when you see this car outside after it's painted with the candy on it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And it goes on so smooth. These bases, as I said, have that medium flake look without the work. There's no roughness. When the candy goes on, this paint job is going to be smooth. Don't forget your band passes at the edges of the windshield and the back glass. Don't forget that. Paint won't turn the corner. Straight line thinking. Watch this pass. Doesn't go back all the way. Stop. Now go back. I'm establishing a straight line. Using the deck lid as my straight line, the edge of the deck lid. Using that robot attitude. Straight line thinking. Straight line thinking. Proper increment of overlap. Holding the gun parallel. Taking my time. Watching that candy go on the way I want it to go on. Doing my banding. Whenever I'm there, I band all the edges. Go up on the inside. Go up on the inside. Get everything done. Don't forget that bottom pan. Get down and get those low areas. Too many times. Look at that. A piece of tape I forgot. Get it out of there. Didn't hurt a thing. First coat of candy. No problem. All right. Get down on those low areas. I've had more painters take cars outside after they're done and say, what do I do? I didn't get enough paint on the rocker. Continue. Straight line. Invisible straight lines. Hit where we came down to that sail area and stop. Band. Important banding. Now we get up to the hood. We haven't done the sides yet. We're going to complete the rear. We're going to complete the hood. We're going to complete the front. And then we're going to walk the sides. Don't be afraid to help support that gun. If your hands start to get tired after a couple of paint jobs, bring that other hand in. Help support that thing. We don't want to see anything falling into the job. Take a number, I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder, 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 thunder,